Hey YouTubers, this is your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my newest movie review on the latest Amazon Prime original film, My Spy The Eternal City. That's right, this is a sequel to the first movie, My Spy, and J.J., played by Dave Bautista, is back along with his stepdaughter, Sophie, who is played by Chloe Coleman. And this time, and this time, J.J. is not out in the field anymore. He's doing desk work and operating from the office. And his daughter, Sophie, is, well, just trying to go go through teenage life, just doing her own thing. And when a trip to Italy comes up, this this is a perfect time for JJ to bond with his daughter. But little did they know, the trip t takes an unexpected turn and turns into like a secret mission. I can't say what's all going to happen because it's up to JJ, Sophie, David Kim, Kim played by Kim Jong to save Italy and the world. But I have to say this. This movie was pretty entertaining and fun to watch. I I had a few laughs with, with this movie. And seeing Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman come back together as a team, it was very entertaining and enjoyable. They are the perfect father and daughter duo. And... I have to say this, you you are going to love seeing them in action. I know I did. It was just the most funnest movie of all time to watch on Amazon Prime. If you got Amazon Prime, definitely check this out and you'll have a fun time with it. It also has some heartwarming moments as well, along with some comedic moments too that you don't want to miss. Let's start off with the positives and negatives. First off are the positives. The positive is, again, Chloe and Dave, they make the great duo, a great duo. We saw them, as we saw them in the first My Spy, we seen them trying to adjust to each other and seeing them grow, and seeing them grow in this movie, in this sequel, was definitely great. Dave and Chloe, if you guys watch this, fantastic job and keep up the great work, you two. Chloe, you grew into a young, beautiful young lady, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for you. Keep on doing what you do and being a talented actress as well, young lady. And I'm and again looking forward to seeing what kind of projects you do as well. Along with you, Dave, keep it up. And all I can say is this, these two are great together. Every time you see them in a scene together, like they have a interesting dad and daughter moments in, the, in this movie <clears throat> that you will honestly laugh at and have a fun time with as well. Also, another positive is that they get to see Italy. The location itself was fantastic. It was one of the most greatest places to film a movie like that especially knowing they're on a school field trip to Italy it was just super fun it was super fun and entertaining and it's just it was nice to see Chloe's character just being an average teenager taking pictures with her friends and enjoying and enjoying herself just being a basic teenager but Italy itself I would love to go there one day and seeing the film being filmed in Italy was just great. I can't wait to see like what what else they filmed there. But again, the location Italy was breathtaking. It was spot on. Fun, enjoyable. That's the this is the type of movie that everybody wants to see for sure. Another positive is the cast themselves, Kim Jong, Christian Scale, all and a bunch of other new characters and familiar characters are in this movie. Everybody did a great job and I loved seeing 
and I love seeing all of them act to their strengths in this movie. It was super fun, and Christian and Christian she was she was funny as Bobby the tech the tech techy geeky woman who just brings the comedy to the movie along with Chloe and Dave. She really knows her stuff, and seeing. Bobby uh, come back as the tech, the tech woman of the team. She's really, she's really talented, and the actress who plays her, Christian, she is very funny. I, I know she did a bunch of other roles in the past, but this, this one tops it. Her as the techie, the techie girl. She's just great. She's great, funny, and very entertaining to see in the My Spy sequel. I'm looking forward to seeing her do many other roles along with Kim Jong. He, we know he has a son in this movie, as most of you seen in the trailer. He is just funny, as always, and trying to be a cool uh, dad who just wants to see his son grow and be very, very protective of we we know there are a bunch of parents who are like that they just want to make sure their kids are safe and everything i know i have a parent that's like that too so i can't judge <laughs> but seeing kim jong play uh david kim who was just trying to be this protective father who loves and cares about his son so much it's just sweet also yeah yeah, we get to see Anna Ferris, Anna Ferris in this movie as well. I can't reveal her character because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But everyone in this cast did a fantastic job, and I can say this: it's really fun. And that's it for my positives onto the negatives. The one negative I have is that Kim Jong's character was in some scenes, but he wasn't in a lot of them. It could have been better if they put him in a whole lot more scenes because I love I love him as a character. We I've seen him in so many roles. I've seen him in The Penguins of Madagascar, a bunch of other roles like Turbo, Turbo, and a bunch of other ones that I can't top off my head. He He deserved to be in more scenes. I really do believe that. I think he should have been in a bunch more scenes no joke he honest i did see him in a couple of scenes but i wish he was shown in a bunch of more roles too that's the only problem i had and that's that's it for my positives and negatives on to my rant the movie my spy the eternal sequel the eternal city <laughs> sorry the eternal city is just great i honestly Loved it. It's a great family movie slash action comedy movie that I believe you all are going to enjoy watching. I know I said that before, but this is for sure a fun, entertaining movie that you are all going to enjoy and watch. And Dave, again, Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman, it's great seeing them as this father-daughter team that you really find convincing. And also, I can't spoil it, but Dave Batista does his signature move, but I can't say which scene it is. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but when you see that scene, your mind is going to be blown. I am not going to spoil it for you. I can't say which scene it is, but when you see it, you are going to be really surprised. But again... JJ, as a protective father, he just wants to make sure his daughter is safe. And he goes all out and be type of the secret agent slash overprotective dad by making sure he sets, like, traps and everything in there in the hotel room. And just, but still tries to be the fun dad that, that Sophie loves and wants to connect with as well. These days, teenagers, they just want to do their own thing, but he's really trying to connect with his daughter, Sophie. And that's, and I think that's just a good thing to see J.J. just trying to connect with his daughter. 
which is good. But the action in this movie itself is top notch that you are going to enjoy seeing and have a mind blowing time. I can say that much. You will be surprised on what happens in this movie and how it's going to play out. You will not be disappointed with this movie. It definitely tops the first movie for sure. I think I think everyone is going to enjoy it and see Dave and enjoy seeing Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman back in the in the movie together for sure. You I can promise you that much. You are going to love it. I can give you my word on that. That's it for my rent, guys. On to the rating. <clears throat> I give My Spy, The Eternal City, a solid B. I hope everybody can see it. It's a solid B. Because I honestly think that Kim Jong should have been in a couple of more scenes in the movie, aside from the little scenes. And also, again, I enjoyed the action slash comedy in this movie. It was super fun and very appealing as well and we get to see a bunch of familiar characters and some new characters in this movie that everyone will probably recognize as well and again i love this great duo great comedic chemistry between dave and chloe this is just a perfect thing that they have since the first movie i love them for it and it is just something everyone is going to enjoy, as I said before. it This movie will pull at your heartstrings, too. It did for me. It really did. But you'll also have some fun comedic moments in this movie as well that everyone will just laugh at and enjoy. If possible, we get a third movie. I want it to be just funny and comedic as well. Definitely. Definitely comedic. With a, with like in between, like a little bit, of the same thing, action and comedy, like at the same thing, which will be fun and exciting for sure. It really will be. But all in all, everybody, definitely check this movie out on Prime. If you have Prime, watch it, have fun, enjoy yourself, and just have a good laugh as well, and be ready to have. A lot of mind-blowing stuff happen, including the action as well, if that makes sense. You are going to have a fun time for sure. That is a promise. I can give you my word on that. And that's it for my movie review, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what you guys thought of My Spy, The Eternal City. Subscribe, because again, guys, my goal for my YouTube channel is to reach up to five hundred subscribers if you can help me out that will be the most greatest thing ever and share with everyone you know and press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be i will see you guys soon take care and god bless peace